What, what reflections do you have on the process that has already happened? Are there things that have been particularly helpful or things that if you had to do it again, you wouldn't repeat? I think it's been important to have different ways to relate to one another other than just talking about this issue among people who hold opposing viewpoints. You know, like I'm, I have come from um, the traditional viewpoint and this uh, gay young man is in my particular small group. So I have many opportunities to love him and support him and pray for him around all kinds of issues in his life. And I, I appreciate that, that we have a more well-rounded relationship that isn't all about debating this issue. Um, yeah, so I think just life together and collaboration on, in many ways other than just working on this one issue is part of what holds us together and shows us this, our life together is more than about this issue. I think because we are trying to love each other and live well with each other, we don't want to hold up sexual activity <clears throat> and the right to pursue sexual gratification as some kind of a false idol, which I think our society holds up. The fact that you can have community with people, whether you're married or single, have intimacy, have love, have commitment, have people that are traveling with you has been very important and a kind of a sustaining thing for why we would want to travel together with this device, potentially divisive issue. Um, the treasure of community around Jesus with broken people is a really uh, important treasure to hold on to. And I'm somebody who lived as a single person in the community till I was 51 and then married a divorced member within the community. So I recognize the importance of married people supporting single people and are really mixing it up together, single and married, older and younger, and valuing one another and learning to hear each other over a variety of issues and not just this one. And interestingly enough, we aren't really split out among the generations over this issue. There are people who hold the traditional viewpoint among young people as well as old, and there are people who are pressing for change and affirming among people in their 70s and 80s. So it's, it's interesting, you know, that this is not particularly about um, being in different generations, but just God bringing us different experiences and convictions. So... We can be surprised by how God may speak and who God uses to, to speak to us. But we, I think because we are a bonded group, there's hope that we will come through this to some new place that will, may surprise all of us. But we don't exactly know what that outcome will be, and I as the leader don't know that.